Demo 4.2 Review Vendor Master In this demo, we will review some of the data contained in the Vendor Master for Olympic Protective Gear, one of GBI's vendors. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction that displays Vendor Master data. Alternatively, enter the transaction code XK03 in the command field to directly access the transaction. In this demo, we will navigate to the desired transaction using the SAP Easy Access menu. First click on the arrow next to Logistics to expand the Logistics menu. In the Logistics menu, expand the Materials Management menu. In the Purchasing menu, expand the Materials Management menu. In the Purchasing menu, expand Master Data menu. In the Master Data section, select Vendor. In the Vendor menu, expand the Central menu. Finally, in the Central menu, select the XK03 Display Transaction. The system displays the Display Vendor Initial Screen. Use this screen to specify a vendor number and the desired data about the vendor. Note that the data are grouped into general data, company code data, and purchasing organization data, as explained in the book. Enter the vendor number, if it is known. To search for a vendor, click the search icon next to the vendor field. In this demo, we will search for a vendor. The system displays a search screen that is used to search for a vendor using a variety of criteria, such as vendor name, name, vendor number, vendor, and location, city. In this demo, we did not specify any search criteria. If criteria are not specified, the system will display all vendors, subject to the limit 500 specified in the maximum number of hits field. The system displays a list of vendors. In this demo, we will select Olympic Protective Gear 100100. The system copies the vendor number into the vendor field in the initial screen. Recall from the discussion in the book that vendors can be defined for different organizational levels. Consequently, the desired organizational levels must be specified. Specifically, the company code and purchasing organizational must be provided. We will do this next. To search for a list of available company codes, click the icon next to the company code field or place the cursor in the field and click F4. The system displays a search screen. Use the search screen to search the criteria. In our demo, we include the vendor number in the search screen. Click Enter to continue. The system shows that this vendor is defined only for the U.S. company code US00. At this point, the appropriate company code must be selected. In our demo, we will select the only option displayed. The system copies the company code into the company code field in the initial screen. The next step is to specify the purchasing organization. We have two options, either enter the purchasing organization or search for it. Click on the search icon next to the field. In this demo, we will search for available purchasing organizations. The system displays a search form in which to specify search criteria. To execute the search, click Enter. In this demo, we will not specify any additional search criteria. The system indicates that the selected vendor has data defined only for the U.S. purchasing organization, US00. Therefore, we will select double-click this organization. The system copies the purchasing organization code into the purchasing organization field in the initial screen. 
Next, indicate which data about the vendor the system should display. The data are grouped by the organizational level for which they are defined. General data, company code data, and purchasing organization data. Recall from the book that general data are relevant to all company codes. Because we selected US00 as the company code and US00 as the purchasing organization, the system will display data only for these organizational levels. Select the desired data by checking the boxes next to the labels, then click Enter to continue. In our demo, we will select all of the data except withholding tax. After all the desired checkboxes are selected, you must click Enter or the green check mark to execute the transaction. In our demo, we will review only a few of the selected fields. Specifically, we will review address, accounting info, payment transactions, accounting, and purchasing data. The system displays the first of the selected data. In this demo, they are the address data. The system highlights the address for Olympic protective gear. Click on the next screen icon or click F8 to advance to the next group of data that we selected. When you click the next screen icon, the system displays the accounting information screen. This screen shows the reconciliation account in the general ledger that is associated with this vendor account. Recall that vendor accounts are sub-ledger accounts and are not part of the general ledger. Rather, they are associated with a designated reconciliation account in the general ledger. In our demo, account number 3000000 is the designated reconciliation account. The next screen is the Payment Transactions Accounting screen, which provides data related to payments made to the vendor. In our demo, the only data that is defined is the payment terms 0001. Examples of other data that could be included are payment method, bank, ACH, etc., and which bank account to use, house bank. The Purchasing Data screen displays data relevant to the previously selected purchasing group. In our demo, the order currency, U.S. dollar, and terms of payment are defined. Recall that payment terms were also displayed on a previous screen. It is not uncommon for the same data to be displayed in different places. We will next identify the choices for payment terms by searching Terms of Payment field. A search of the Terms of Payment field shows all the available options. Note for the vendor selected in our demo, Olympic Protective Gear, the payment terms indicate that invoices are to be paid immediately and in full. Demo 4.2 Review Vendor Master